everybody. My name's Stephen Ritter, um, and you probably remember me or maybe not. Probably don't recognize me from the beard, but uh, from a video from a few years ago. I'm uh, Phyllis Stokes, uh, firstborn, uh, and I uh, uh, just wanted to pass along some information. Uh, the word's kind of gotten out. Just wanted to let you know that she did pass away on Saturday, uh, the 25th. Um, I just, I, 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 as Renee posted, and yes, she is who she says she is, uh, the pastor's wife, Renee, it's nice enough to kind of post a couple of updates. Uh, a few of you have reached out to me and to my stepbrother Ernie uh, asking about what's going on. Uh, we really were either vague or evasive or not really answering because mom just kind of wanted to keep it quiet. She's kind of a private person, believe it or not. But um, she asked that we, we not say anything that she, she fully intended to do another video um, after her last one back in August, I believe it was. Um, just never never felt up to it um, and I'll, I'll tell you why here in a second but she um, uh, she had cancer uh, and a particularly painful cancer um, she found out about that early she was having a lot of pains earlier this year and you all probably remember that from her videos uh, was diagnosed with cancer uh, back in February March uh, had some major surgery to remove part of half her liver um, and the cancer just just kept going. Then she developed a, an abscess and, and was unable to, to get the, the chemo started uh, until September. Uh, she went through two rounds of it, had a particularly bad reaction to it, um, and then and then eventually they they realized it was damaging her kidneys and it really wasn't doing her any good. So she she finally came off the chemo early December. Um, and uh, uh, was losing weight all along as she talked about um, started being more and more in pain um, started uh, some a lot of uh, pain medication um, she eventually um, uh, went into hospice care um, in uh, in January um, and, and Ed was at home all the time um, and then she uh, went um, she had uh, and then she went into 24 7 help uh, a little bit after that shortly after that uh, so we had somebody around with her all the time so lots of people helping along the way of course Renee you, you probably seen some videos from her um, lady in town named Jan was helping out a while um, my aunt Wanda came by of course I was came by quite a bit uh, as much as I could from work and and um, taking care of my family um, down here where I am at but uh, and then of course the, the the big help the big MVP was our neighbor Chris um, he's really just was was an angel I mean he just was uh, a lot of help um, really stepped up it turns out he was a, a hospice nurse that's what he does so um, he was able to help out a lot was a comfort to my mother all the way to the end to me uh, he's been a real good friend and still continues to be so um, we uh, uh, she was on that she was very upbeat uh, and was encouraged and very thankful by all your cards and letters um, it was just overwhelmed really I mean I, there's four boxes of cards and notes and everything else uh, in the house still um, and I wanted to thank you all personally for that too uh, that was a big encouragement she she felt all of your prayers and encouragement and all of the notes and everything else. Um, she, uh, 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 to the end, um, she was uh, awake and alert. Um, eventually she, she got to where she couldn't go out of the house. So I was able to, I came down, and, uh, we worked out a power of a, attorney uh, for me to be able to take care of some of the finances and things around. It's kind of a funny story because um, she was on the, the pain medication. Um, I was I was I, I was wondering, curious if the because the, the attorney we I worked it out for him to come out of the house to to do the power of attorney, and I was a little concerned. You know, she's on the pain medication. If he would be a little apprehensive about it, you know, if she was of sound mind or not. And uh, so we were there, and he talked with her. <laughs> 
and mom just uh, she started grilling him and working him over uh, I, I remember looking over him and he started sweating and he was sweating and 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 she she worked him over for about an hour asking him questions um, and I remember I walked outside with him uh, and I was talking with him he had to run back and make some changes of course that she had she's very particular and precise um, and he went and he walked down and he said, and I was like so and, and he goes your mom is razor sharp mind <laughs> so um, she uh, uh, all the way to the end so um, she uh, uh, like I said was was on pain pain medication um, and uh, about a week and a half ago um, on the she she really rallied and and was really doing well uh, feeling good no pain or nothing um, and then about uh, the 20th or so um, she started really going downhill fast um, she we, we had a hospital bed moved into the to the house um, and a chair one of those chairs that, that stand up to help her up and out uh, and then really uh, toward the end I mean her, her world was in the living room there the, the dogs uh, uh, Steely and Sunny were in the bed with her all the time as a comfort for her um, and she uh, uh, she she once she she went into the hospital bed and and never came out of it so um, moments of, of in and out and uh, and until um, Saturday the the twenty fifth um, she uh, her color really changed she she uh, she went into a coma at three a.m. and uh, uh, and she passed away at about nine o'clock Saturday morning um, we. Um, we did uh, bury her the next day, just like she wanted the green burial uh, at dust to dust. So I, I know that there's been a lot of confusion, and that find a grave site. I, 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 from what I hear from, from a friend who's, who was a mortuary guy, he said they don't always get that right. So Bucky is. It shows that he's buried somewhere up in Oconee, somewhere or something, some site in the upstate, and that mom's there too. That's incorrect. So I, I tell you, as a matter of fact. They're at Dust to Dust in Swansea. Uh, that's where they're buried. Uh, we buried her on Sunday, uh, the next day at three o'clock, um, and just a small group, uh, real simple. Um, and we, we, me and and the neighbor Chris, um, later in the in the grave, uh, we had some flowers. We we put them uh, with her. Um, we sang a hymn and and prayed and and talked a little bit about mom and then you know I I, I was sitting there and I, I couldn't help but think you know that you know you know mom wouldn't wasn't all about the fuss and the bother and she she if she was there she probably would have said okay that's enough let's go and because she's not there I and mean, she's with Bucky and, and Renee in heaven now um, so um, I um, as far as it is what now uh, I just want to let you know some of you have been asking about the, the dogs so Sonny and Steely um, were uh, were adopted by a nice older couple from town uh, that had known mom had known them uh, they were comfortable they have another dog for them to play with and they were just ec ecstatic about about getting them um, so that's where they're staying with them now um, and um, I, I, some other people have asked and hoped that I, I tend to, to leave the channel up and to keep 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 it up. Um, of course, there's you know all the the menu, all the uh, recipes, and all the videos and everything else. Um, I, I, I probably I tend to, to add some to them, possibly some stories that I that I remember about Mom and Bucky, some uh, funny stories and, and things about them, and 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 you know recipes or. Uh, Things like that, that 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 she's passed along to me. I, I have a love of cooking as well, uh, and I think I get that from her. Um, but uh, she wanted to use this channel also. That was one of the things she mentioned to me, is to, to use this to support uh, a local uh, church school near her that the Lord really put on her heart uh, that, that Renee's been running. Uh, that, that this channel 
would would continue to support support that and that's that's what I'm gonna see too um, so again um, she she is buried at dust to dust I, I, I some of you I, I went on Facebook today on the dust to dust Facebook site some of you had some questions and were back and forth if you'll do me a favor the, the dust to dust people were very kind to us uh, with what uh, they were kind with mom with with Barry and Bucky and with 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 me with Barry and my mother uh, if you'll go on if there was anything on there that maybe a comment that you put that was questioning or 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 that maybe wasn't as flattering to dust to dust if you wouldn't consider removing that because they were very they were top shelf and were very helpful with everything that we needed um, and it, it, it would be unkind to, to leave that on there if you don't mind so um, in the meantime uh, I'll do my best to answer any questions or comments that you have if you want to leave those and I'll try to try to do those and uh, as you can imagine I'm, I'm kind of busy with settling all the affairs and, uh, and with everything that goes on with this so um, I thank you for for all your support for my mother and all your thoughts and your prayers and everything over the years and uh, and you know I hope that you you continue to go back and look at, at her videos and, and remember her the way we all do uh, so thank you take care and God bless